Yo, what up, people? Your boy Bond over here, more. Yeah, I'm just chilling in the dark right now. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my first time doing videos in the dark, so, you know, it ain't nothing new. Now, this is my little continuation video from earlier, because my thing, it happened, it just stopped on me earlier. But before I go on, you know, let me just say, you know, during my little... <laughs> Me being angry at the time, because I guess the disrespect and whatever, it just reached a boiling point. I ain't going to say a boiling point. It's just one, I guess it was just one of them enough is enough moments or whatever. But in any event, you know, me dropping the B-bomb like that, doing watching that, that was wrong with me. You know, it's enough sexism going on in society as is. I'm not trying to add any more fuel to the fire on that note. So, you know, and those... Those were the views expressed by me. That is not a team DVE or no one of DVE. Uh, that is Mondo Ray Moore, a grown man who stands by what he says and hones up and whatnot. So, you know, that was wrong with me. But I'm not apologizing for nothing else I said on that video. And that's just period, you know, because I didn't generalize women. I said some women. I didn't say all. So. And you can't deny that. It's just some women that don't. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. There's women out here very credible on sports. And yeah, there's even some that can break it down better than some guys. Of course. I can't deny that. No one can. However, she's not one of them. I mean, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was just the, it wasn't just, it wasn't just the ignorance. It was the disrespect as well. I mean, you clearly. And David Carr's a good quarterback, like I said, and I believe he will be great. His first three years so far have been pretty good. i say that. We talking about Matt Stafford, the dude, four, four or five straight 4,000-yard seasons. You know what I'm saying? It could be four. And it could be four this year. And for everybody tripping on the contract, talking about, you know, Detroit wasted their money and all of this other nonsense, you know, I mean, <laughs> number one, who else would you have quarterback at this time? Yeah, definitely get back to me on that one. Number two, when you put in work for a while, when you put in work for a long time to get to a certain point, yeah, you should be rewarded in the end. That's how I look at it because he has put in work. He has progressed. He's gotten better. Definitely a lot from those growing pains. I mean, anybody that's working in their craft or just working, period, I would hope they working towards something. And whatever they're working towards, they eventually get it. You know what I'm saying? I would hope that for anybody. I mean, it's just common knowledge on that. And you're talking about a guy that has over 20 come from behind fourth quarter comebacks. Because Aaron Rodgers, as great as he is, you know what I'm saying? The only major difference I see between him and Stafford is he has a ring and Stafford doesn't pretty much. And I totally agree, you know, that's like when I did the pre-video before, when I showed uh, Stephen A. on first take. That wasn't to rally the troops against Stephen A. Smith. I just wanted to hear different views on it, because quite frankly, I feel, I mean, I agree with him. Because there's nothing wrong with what he said. You know what I'm saying? All he basically saying is, well, you're the highest paid player in the game, so you got to produce one way or another. So, yeah, like Man Beast Moore said in his video, it's time to win playoff games. You know, it's time to win the division. You know, I don't want to ask too much, but I don't know. You know, we might have to, of course, we aiming for that. Of course, we aiming for the big prize at the end of the day. But this might, this particular, this, I would like to say this would have to be an NFC championship game push. But no, I can't say that because this team, we have a lot of young guys on this team. We got a lot of young, fresh talent, you know. Still got some cuts to be made, but I believe... I believe we're good. You know, I like the position we in, you know. I wish we still I wish we had Kerry Hyder and Tyler Decker right now. I said, damn, it's just we never seem to have a complete team. It just never fucking happens. You know, just once in my lifetime, I would like, well of course more than once, but just once in my lifetime, I would like to see the Detroit Lions have a healthy, complete team where everybody out there on both sides of the ball, all facets of the game is out there, you know. That would be a dream. That would be the dream come true, first and foremost. But if we got it like that, I like our chances, period. 
So, you know, trying to downplay, just downplaying Matt Stafford. Just, I just felt the total disrespect. It was, it was just it was atrocious. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Because I promise you, if Stafford was in a Cowboys uniform or a Bucks uniform or a Jets uniform, you know, y'all would love him. A lot of y'all just going on the Lions history all together. What you better realize is we ain't them. We're not the same team, whether y'all choose to see it or not. You know, I would like to see a lot of more games where we win convincingly instead of always having to play from behind and eventually pulling it out, of course. But if that's who we is, well, damn. <laughs> a win is a win. I'm going to take them any way how I can get them, period. So, you know, I'm hoping Galladay can have a good season. Not trying to heap too much on him, but, yeah, we're we, we going to need it from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully Jake Rudock and Jace Billingsby make the squad. You know? And just hoping for, you know, hoping for the year we finally make that push as in getting over, getting over a hump. Starting by winning the division. I can't think of a better way to start than that. But in any event, your boy Mondo Ray Moore, I'm about to be out this piece. Salute the team DVE. Shout out to all one pride riders. And salute to Matt Stafford. Peace.